So we are continuing our solution of May 2019. Question 11. If B is equal to this, that is P is having this element 2, 3, 5, 7. Then Q is having the element 2, 3, 6. Then two, uh, S is having the element 2, 4, 5. We are supposed to find P intersection, Q intersection, S. That is the element that is running through all of them. So you can see that it's only two that is running through all of them. But this is how you can also go about it. P intersection Q is two, three. Then P intersection Q intersection S is two. So the element that is common to Q and P and Q is two, three. Then now the element that is common to S and P intersection Q is 2. So the correct answer is the correct answer is A. Correct answer is A for question 11. Now let us move on to the next question which is question 12 so for the question 12 we have this we are supposed to use this diagram to answer this question in the diagram in the diagram the shaded area represents so you know we have two sets here p and q and we want to find the region that is represented by the shaded region so if you ignore that of q which is there to distract you you can see that we have p the complement of p is this and this region that is shaded here is equal to the region that is shaded here so if you, even if you include Q, Q here, it has no effect on the region that is shaded. Therefore, the correct answer is A. The correct answer is P prime. Now we are on question 13. If T T Dallas six is that is if six tt dollars is equivalent to one us dollars then 15 tt dollars in us dollars is what now to go about this you can use ratio you can also use um the unitary method so let's use the unitary method here you can see that the conversion rate given to us that is the we have 60 t dollars being equal to one us dollars now to find how many 50 how many us dollars will give us 15 tt dollars we first of all find the equivalence of one tt dollars in us dollars we can only get that when we divide both sides by six so this will give us this this means that one tt dollars is equal to is equivalent to one over six us dollars so to get a 15 tt dollars you see if you multiply by 15 you get 15 here so you have to do it to this side also and you get one uh, 15 tt dollars is equal to 2.5 us dollars so if you simplify this you get 5 over 2 which is the same as 2.5 dollars so the correct answer is c now let us proceed to the question 14 if Seven thousand dollars is borrowed at the rate of five percent per annum for three years. The simple interest is 
so we know simple interest is principal times time times rate or principal times rate times time so we're giving the principal to be seven thousand the rate to be five percent which is the same as five over hundred and the time is three years so we just plug in these values into this formula to find the interest and the simple interest is seven thousand times five over hundred times three you know this we will cancel two of these we are left with 70 times 5 times 3 now if you multiply 70 times 5 you get 350 remember that 5 times 7 is 35 then you maintain the 0 to get the 350 then you multiply this by 3 so 3 0 will give you 0 3 5 15 so you keep 5 you write 5 you keep 1 3 3 9 plus the 1 will give you 1050 so 1050 therefore the correct answer is d the correct answer is d address address which costs 180 dollars is being sold at a discount of 10 percent the amount of the discount is so amount of discount we multiply the the cost of the dress by the rate of the discount which is 10 percent so 10 percent of 180 dollars will be equal to 10 over 100 times 180 and that will be equal to 1 over 10 times 180 which is equal to 18 dollars therefore the correct answer is this now the value of a plot of land is eighteen thousand dollars. Land tax is charged at a rate of zero point seven per hundred value. What is the total amount of tax paid for the land? So, to find the total amount of tax paid for the land, we compute this way. You know the amount of land tax will be equal to 0 0.7 that is the rate times the number of hundred values in 18,000 so to find that number of hundred values in 18,000 you divide by 100 that is divide by hundred dollars to get the number of hundred dollars in 18,000 value so if you do that you know two of these zeros will cancel two of these zeros you are left with 180 then 0 0.7 0 is the same as 70 over 100 then this is the same as 7 over 10 and the 10 goes into 180 18 times so 7 times 18 will give us 126 so 7 Seven eight is fifty six seven one seven plus five uh, that, that will give you twelve so that will give you the one twenty six so the correct answer is this now let's proceed to number seventeen at the end of at the end of any year a car is worth five percent less than what it was worth at the beginning of the year. If a car was worth 9,500 in December 2016, so this is the end of the year, then its value in January 2016 will be what? Now, we know the value of the car in December is 9,500. Now, we don't know the value of the car in January, so let that value of the car be X. Then, We know the rate that corresponds to this is 100%. 100% will correspond to this. So that at the end of the year, it will reduce by 5%. So if you reduce 100% by 5%, we get this. So 100 minus 5. 
and if you multiply it by the original value in January we should get the reduced amount so that will give us this equation and 100 minus 5 will give you 95 percent of x is equal to the 9500 now you know 95 percent is the same as 95 over 100 of x equal this so we multiply both sides by 100 over 95 the reciprocal of this so that we can make this one unity now if you do that you know 95 will cancel 95 1 in other words 95 will go into 9500 100 times so we are left with 100 times 100 which is going to give us one four zeros that is 10,000 and that will be the correct answer will be B in this case. Now let's proceed to number 18. A loan of 8,000 was repaid in 24 equal monthly installments of $400. The rate of interest on the loan was so. We know that the loan amount is eight thousand. Then amount that is repaid in installment is four hundred dollars. So the total amount you repay, you end up repaying is twenty four times four hundred dollars, and that will give us nine thousand six hundred dollars. Note that four times four is sixteen. So you write down six, then four times two is eight plus that one, which will give you the nine. Six nine thousand six hundred. So now we need to get the interest on the loan. So loan interest is nine thousand six hundred minus the eight thousand. Now that will give us thousand six hundred. To get the the rate of interest, we express this as percentage of this. That is the original amount. That will be. That will be 1600 over 8000 times 100 percent, and that will be equal to 1 over 5 times 100. And 5 will go into 120 times, that will give you 20 percent. So the correct answer is D. Now let's go to number 19. A dinner, a dinner is at a restaurant. A dinner at a restaurant was advertised at sixty dollars plus eighteen percent tax. The total bill for this dinner was so you know the total bill is going to include the price of the dinner, which is sixty dollars plus the tax that is paid, and the tax has a rate of eighteen percent. So eighteen percent of sixty that will give us eighteen over hundred times sixty, and this will give us ten point eight. Now, we know that the total bill for this dinner will be equal to $60 plus the tax, which is 10.8. And if you put the two together, you get 70.8. Therefore, the correct answer is B. Now, question 20. Question 20. We have this at a sale at a sale each book was marked three dollars each the three dollars of the original price daniel paid 46 dollars for two books that had the same sale price what was the original cost of one of these books so let the original cost of one of the book be y then we know that daniel bought two of them and the three percent was marked off each of them. So we have first book, second book, marked off three dollars. So if you put the two together, the amount he paid was forty-six dollars. Then if you add to so y plus y, you get two y negative three minus three will give us negative six is equal to forty-six. Now we group similar terms. So 2y is equal to 46 plus 6. And that will give us 2y is equal to 52. When you divide both sides by 2, you get 
y equal 26 here yeah, for the price of one of the the cost of one of the the original cost of one of the books is 26 dollars so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also the second channel tutor francis thanks for watching the next video will be uploaded soon so don't forget to subscribe now if you can still see this red thing here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload you see it is still red you have to click it so that if i upload the next video you'll be informed click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe